I mean, you have to understand eating disorder cause as being multidimensional. It has biological, psychological, social components, that's for sure. Um, but uh, the recent work that has uh, uh, brought to light the role of genetics and heredity in eating disorders really um, adds a whole uh, kind of a facet to our understanding. People misunderstand genes in a lot of ways. People think, you know, because you have a certain genetic tendency, you're sort of programmed to be a certain way. It kind of condemns you to have certain characteristics or risks or things like that. And that's really the wrong concept. You have to think of a gene as like a light switch. It's kind of, you know, genes are innocent until they're turned on if they're bad genes. <laughs> and sometimes we want to turn on genes that help people uh, be more resilient to stress and that sort of a thing. So uh, eating disorders, I think, provide a really clear example of something that applies across the board in many ways, but e eating disorders represent the ways in which certain things in environments can switch on vulnerability or switch off resilience.